So Sino has been out for a couple of days and I want to talk about why I think he is both one of the best units in the game and one of the worst 5 stars in the game. He has two sides of a coin and I want to explore these two sides with you today. So first of all, let's begin with the good. Sino has amazing gameplay. If you play Sino, you know that he feels super fast, he feels pretty epic. And I honestly think the best part is, is how his elemental burst and E skill synergize with each other so well. While in his elemental burst, his E skill is upgraded into a big smash into the ground and only has about a 3 second cooldown. So you can always interrupt your auto attack combo with the E attack to constantly smack the enemies and you just feel like a ball of rage that does a ton of damage. Another part that Sino does really really well is that he has been anticipated for so long which definitely increases how much people wanted him as Sino was teased as Genshin Impact was released in the big teaser video where they showed him off as the character representing the Sumeru expansion and he definitely rocks both visuals, the look and the Sumeru lore and everything around this character is just very well done. And there is another thing that he does really great but let's first go over the bad. And to be completely honest with you, the meta verdict on Sino is, is that he is mid. He is definitely not the worst 5 star out there, but he is not insane. His damage is reasonable, but he is first of all a very selfish 5 star DPS, similar to Zhao, where he needs a lot of units to work. He can be in his ult almost permanently, so he will get almost all of the screen time. So he doesn't really do that well with a lot of sub DPS. And all in all for my personal playtesting his damage is alright. It can definitely be very high. But I would say he is Ye Miko tier for a damage dealer. Where he is not insane. He is no Kazuha, Raiden Shogun, Bennett. So if you really need a damage increase and you're going to pull purely for meta. I think Sino is quite a bad decision. Another bad for Sino is that sometimes his gameplay flow can be interrupted a bit. Because he gets easily stunned or he gets easily interrupted by things like knockbacks etc. And also he can knock the enemy back really really far and you can kind of lose track of the enemy and start missing. But Sino has one thing going for him that a lot of other units in the mid tier do not have going for them. And that is a future. Now Sino has amazing synergy with the Dendro element. And currently for Dendro we don't have a lot of units. With the Traveler being the best Dendro applying unit in the game. But this Dendro appliance might still get power crept by a new 5 star. Like the Dendro Archon or maybe Baiju or some Dendro character released in the future. Which might support Sino amazingly and it would increase his damage rate by a ton. So Sino maybe has an extremely bright future ahead of him. With new Dendro characters being released and giving him a massive power boost. Because the Dendro application might become better. With a character like Komi increasing the Hydro application game. Someone like Nahida aka the Dendro Archon. Could change the game for Dendro application. And could instantly skyrocket Sino's meta position into at least 8 here. He is never going to be the Raiden Shogun. He is never going to change the meta in a way where he is the most insane character. And everyone has to pull for him to clear Abyss. But he has a bright future and I think he is going to improve his meta position over time. And currently he is alright. He isn't as terrible as some people make him out to be. But he isn't an insane new unit. He is simply an upgraded Razor. A big damage Electro main DPS. And honestly it's as simple as if you like Sino. Build him, get him and clear Abyss with him. Because he can easily claw enemies to bits. 